the students who are willing to go for any competitive examinations in 2023 or 2022 they should keep in mind the most important topics which have been going on since last 2 3 years very thoroughly they have to understand about the topics and the dynamics of the situations then only they, they can go for the examinations in a fitting way the most important purpose of these competitive examinations is to know about your general awareness of the day, day to day activities the social economical political historical and related aspects a science and technology also plays very very important role now this year if you take it india has been observing azad ka amrut mahotsav a call given by our honorable prime minister to display our tricolor as our profile pictures it's 75 glorious years of indian independence and regarding this one when we want to go deep into this azad ki mahotsav we have many leaders who helped us to get this indian independence and though some people call this one it's a transfer of power from select hands to the select hands but whatever may be it's a hard work and sacrifice of many noble leaders who never thought for their lives they thought for india indian cultural heritage they wanted to protect and promote the indian unity they wanted to protect and promote we have to understand about this glow 75 years glorious glorious indian independence today we are celebrating the hard work of many leaders some 100 years ago when we go through the indian independence movement we get divided into different aspects the first and foremost the crucial point is indian renaissance movement the cultural awakening which has given a common bond for all the indian people because we know that one india is a pluralistic country many religions many castes many other things a uh, lots of other dynamics are involved in this one but only one aspect which united the whole of india is the indian nationalism the feeling of the nationalism the nationalist feeling how to promote this nationalist feeling nationalism and nation if you take this both into account you find nationalism is nothing but an emotional feeling of unity so nationalism the feelings have no boundaries the feelings cannot be expressed in words so nationalism to represent this nationalism we use different symbols different emotional feelings in different types of songs and we find that vande matram has influenced lots of people at bal ganga dar tilak slogan of we want independence independence freedom is by birthright so these kind of things which inspire the people the sacrifices of rajguru bhagat singh and sukhdev can never be forgotten so this way if we see the indian national movement we divide into different aspects 1885 to almost 19th century 1895 to almost what we say is 
or 29 that way a type of moderation border just border indian nationalism that is why appeals how the international congress formed at the beginning of the India performance of the international congress what were its objectives what were its ideals who led it and how they led it then came the biggest jolt in the indian national movement is 1905 the separation of bengal which has given a new rise a new twist to the indian political indian independence movement and then there emerged the moderates and the extra extremists the extremists they wanted tit for tat they wanted a new kind of feelings a new kind of expression to gain independence and this period continued till the cyber commission lala lajpat rai lal bal pal the most important paper who led this period of time and 1929 onwards we find the gandhian politics the gandhian system of uh, changing the indian political scenario and we find the gandhi the Ga gandhi his philosophy is ahimsa and non violence so from extremism we have come to a complete u turn with ahimsa and non violence and gandhi's philosophies are swarajya gram swarajya he understood the caste barriers and to treat all the people equally he coined the slogan of harijan and he wanted to be with all kinds of religious people and he started representing unity in diversity and 1929 onwards they started a different situation of non cooperation ahimsa non violence and satyagraha this phase continued till 1941-42 the second world war changed the face of the indian nationalistic feelings completely the objectives or the way we approach for the indian nationalism changed completely and the british system of this colonial rule it was taking lots of shape because of the internet of royal what the britain faced and in one way or the other the international situation also forced the britishers and the same thing was taken at one days of by the indian national movement and they gave a call for the quit india movement and 1942 is a turning point with the do or die slogan and then started a dialogue between the britishers and the indian nationalists and this is the phase when we see the greatness of nataji subhash chandra bose his foundation of the azad hind force and how he differed with gandhi regarding his gandhian power philosophy at the same time uh, nataji with his militant activism and this follow jai hind this slogan is by nataji subhash chandra bose and this situation continued and indian national movement has taken a another turn the britishers were forced to assure the indians that they are going to give independence after the world war and the situation has come to such a pass that the britishers were forced to ask the indians 
to make start their preparation for their own government for their own constitution and mount button not mount button he came to india for this transition period at this transition period lord mountbatten played very important role and the role the britishers played in this situation not only has given wide scope for indian independence and also but also it is one of the reasons why india is forced to divide itself into two nations two nation theory started during this period of time and they started a bitter row between the indian national congress and the muslim league a jinda on one side and gandhi in the middle nehru this side they started a division of politics this divided the policy of the britishers had given rise to the two nation theory and it it formed pakistan in one way the indian subcontinent india in another and still the war issues is not not solved and it's really what we call this one one kind of disgusting thing since long these things are going on and the present government is trying to solve one problem or the other and we are facing the cross terrorist activities because of the seeds sown by the british as those days and this is really a glorious time we have to celebrate the indian national indian national movement indian independence of 75 years and the bitter lessons which taught us in the previous years we have to take into account and we have to overcome at 1947 to 1922 a long way we crossed lots of water in the river godavari river ganga passed and we are coming to the settling point now india is rising as one of the most important powers in the indian subcontinent in one way indo pacific region in another way and the indian wash in another way and narendra modi is trying to call for 5 trillion dollar economy will be fulfilled if grabs for us is completely implemented and the people are able people are free to develop themselves if the unemployment problem gets solved a drupi value gets strengthened and indian nationalism is really a great thing and we salute all our leaders for their great sacrifices we look forward for a great india jai bharat mera bharat maha thank you